don't believe it. You are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your de 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 eggs. Oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meat Hook. Mr. Meat Hook? You're a big, strong, good-looking guy with a great tattoo. I can make it talk. Wanna see? Ha! Uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. I can still be on your crew. Just pack your stuff and meet me at the dock. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo routine when we're at sea. Wow, this is sounding better and better all the time. Wow, it works both ways. That's some chicken. You've already got the t-shirt. What do you want now? The governor's been kidnapped! What? That's ridiculous. Oh no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm... I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it? I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. I want to make you a deal that you're happy with. Because if you're not happy, I'm not happy. But I know you're going to leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So tell me, what are you interested in looking at today? That spiffy blue one by your office looks nice. 
Of course it does. It's mine. And it's not for sale. What else can I show you? Let me see the best ship you've got. Hey, it's nice to meet a man who appreciates quality. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now this, this is a ship fit for a king. I mean, we're talking 15 staterooms, a fireplace in every one. We're talking two pools, one indoor, one outdoor. We're talking rotating ballroom. We're talking heated crow's nest. We're talking 200 feet of ocean-going decadence. And all for one low price. Speaking of price, let's talk about money. Your money. Oh, no more than 172 pieces of eight. I think we must be talking about completely different ships here. You've obviously been out of the ship market for quite some time. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we'd have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. All I have is this rubber chicken. Is it one of those rubber chickens with a pulley in the middle? I already got one of those. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't! You're looking for a much bigger boat, I can tell. So, what else can I show you? I don't really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything? You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. Just how much were you looking to spend today? Money is no object. Well, it is with me. How much you got? On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Of course it isn't. You're looking for a much bigger boat, I can tell. So, what else can I show you? Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. That's right. It always points directly back here, so if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back, but I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. 
They're moving fast today. Yes, siree. Can't hardly keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Oh, I should have known it'd be you again. The Swordmaster says you can jump in the lake, by the way. What do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. You are, I, uh, you got a job? Yes, of course I do. All right. I'll get one of my notes and we'll fill it out. Let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? I'm waiting tables at the scum bar. Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. Yeah, the cook over there waits all his own tables. He likes to spit on all his customers personally. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! There's nothing in here but this note.
Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. So, what else can I show you? Uh, could I see the cheap one again? I knew it! I knew it! Just can't get her out of your mind, can you? Walk this way. Hard to stay away from a good mystery, isn't it, hmm? Let's talk about money. Your money. I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, chronic gambling mishaps. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tacks, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I want to sell it, so... Let's talk extras. Extras? You want to talk extras? Great! This baby's loaded with extras. For instance, did I tell you about these porthole defoggers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but don't blame me if you run into an iceberg or something. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the anti-lock anchor? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Sure, throw safety to the wind. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the rack and pinion rudder? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Well, I guess it'll float without it. Barely. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the velour sail covers? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Hey, travel light. I can understand that, sure. Of course, mutiny is an ugly word. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the taco meter? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Wow, does your wife know you're such a cheapskate? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the elevator made with wood from burgundy wine casks? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Yeah, I guess that is kind of decadent, isn't it? But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the simulated wood siding? I think I can live without that particular piece of junk. Okay, but I'm telling you, barnacles hate simulated wood. But wait, there's more. Did I tell you about the porthole defoggers? Enough about extras already. Okay, where were we? I'd like to make you an offer. Great! How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? Sure, I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week, so you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. That's a little bit more like it, but not much. 
I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away? Today. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. 5,000 pieces of eight? Okay, okay. It's killing me, but okay. And I thought I was gonna give my children Christmas presents this year. Just take it out of here. I'm glad to get rid of it. Oh yeah, do you have that note from the storekeeper on you? Thanks. I've got to run these numbers by my boss. He'll think I'm nuts, but I'll talk him into it. You meet me at the dock with your crew. I'll bring the ship and the papers. I just want to say that I really feel like we got to know each other today. I mean, I really felt some bonding here. And I don't just say that to everybody. It's been great doing business with you. Really? Sucker. See you at the dock and don't forget your crew. All three of them. I sold the ship. Can you believe it? I'm off on a long vacation spending some poor sucker's money. Arrivederci, baby. Stan. It's a good thing you showed up. Ten people have offered to buy this baby off me while I've been standing here waiting for you. But I said, no way. I know a guy who's in love with this ship, and it would break his heart to lose it. Am I right? Of course I am. I mean, just look at her. Sleek, aerodynamic, a buoyant barnacle-covered beauty. I think we're having a real moment here. I've changed my mind. I can't give her up. You can have your money back. How could I sell something so dear? Then again, a deal's a deal, right? Right. <laughs> Good luck, yeah. I'm out of here. Whoops, I almost forgot to give you this free seafaring literature. My gift to you. Just remember where you got it. Stands! Maybe I should have gotten that extended warranty after all. Hey, long time no see. Your Aunt Tilly makes lousy carrot cake. Oh, come on. Don't be bitter. I'm here to have, not just for the money. Uh, money? Yeah, we are getting paid for this, right? Is it true what I heard about you and the storekeeper? Look, don't start with me, okay? So what's that waterlogged wreck doing out there? How are we going to get our ship in here with that pile of scrap in the way? Where's the cabin boy? I need him to go back to my place and pick up my bags. What's going on here? Where's our ship? Where's our crew? This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. leadership of Captain Freep, uh, uh, Threepwood, the Sea Monkey is finally underway. Undaunted by their lack of navigational equipment or expertise, the crew begins to plan their voyage.
First of all, I'd like to say it's great to be working with such a fine crew. The voyage ahead is not going to be easy. It's going to take skill, endurance, and most of all, teamwork. First, I thought we'd assign some duties. What is it we were suckered into doing again? I made a list. Suckered is right. I don't see what the big deal is with rescuing the governor. She can clearly take care of herself. The way I look at it, we got this great ship. Well, we got a ship. Why don't we kick back, tie a rope to the wheel and cruise for a while? I could use a little work on my tan. Come to think of it, I have been a little stressed out lately. I could use a rest. Then it's decided. We cruise the Caribbean. Uh, I'm doomed. There's an old dusty book inside. Let's see what it is. like a ballpoint feather pen. It says, Captain's Log, March 10th. First mate Toothrot and I have been searching for Monkey Island for over a month with no success. The directions we purchased on Melee proved to be a recipe, not a map as we had believed. Captain's Log, March 12th. I wish Toothrod would take a bath. Captain's Log, March 17th. I wish Toothrod would stop snoring. Captain's Log, March 23rd. Toothrot is really starting to get on my nerves. I figure it's only a matter of time before we come to blows. Captain's Log, April 2nd. As a gesture to restore our friendship, Toothrot offered to fix dinner tonight. Captain's Log, April 3rd. I don't know how we did it, but we've arrived at Monkey Island. Both Toothrot and I passed out from the soupy fixed last night. When we awoke, Monkey Island was sitting off the bow. Captain's Log, April 4th. Toothrot and I filled the rowboat with supplies and are ready to set out to Monkey Island. We are both excited at the prospect of being the first civilized people to learn the secret of Monkey Island. Captain's Log, April 5th. We had to turn around and return to the ship. Toothrot forgot to go to the bathroom before we left. We'll set out again tomorrow. And that's the last entry. It seems to be locked up tight. It looks like an empty chest. Hey guys, what's happening? Beat it, guy brush. I'm gonna give you mutineers five seconds to come to your senses. Then, I'm gonna start kicking some butt. Excuse me, Guybrush. Does the word keelhole mean anything to you? I see your point. Thanks.
They look like kegs of gunpowder. Wow, gunpowder! I think I'll take some. How to get a leg up in treasure hunting. Mmm. I loved this stuff when I was a kid. I like the way it chewed up the roof of your mouth. prize inside this is no prize it's a small key with a finely engraved monkey on it It looks like a very heavy metal chest. Man, that's heavy. Filled, no doubt, with golden jewels. Hey, look, a piece of paper. And some cinnamon sticks. Directions to Monkey Island. Preheat pot to 450 degrees. Add the following ingredients. One cinnamon stick, four leaves of mint, one human skull, pressed, one squirt squid ink, two pints monkey blood, mmm, one live chicken, three ounces brimstone, one or more of the following. Pyridoxine hydrochloride, zinc oxide, yellow 8, mine mononitrate, and BHA. Let bubble over a low flame until thickened. Serves crew of four. It's called how to arm yourself in sea battle. It's called how to get a leg up in treasure hunting. It's called how to get ahead in navigating. cinnamon. Mm, this is going to be good. There's some very fine wine in here. I'll grab it. I'm no enologist, but judging from the deep red color, this is a very fine wine.
that should be enough. Just a drop. About the time I got rid of this worthless artifact. Good thing I've got a million of these. Yikes! Oh, I think I'm getting dizzy. Overcome by the fumes and stench, Guybrush quickly loses consciousness. Moments later, the voodoo spell kicks in, turning the ship to an unknown heading and off on its mysterious voyage. Days pass. Bladders. It's Monkey Island. It's a giant piece of rope. Take some more. I don't think it's going to catch fire. Take some more.
tooth rot. Don't bother to say hello. I've only been waiting 20 years to talk to somebody civilized. I don't mind. Fine. By the way, you might want to think about putting out that fire. Someone could be hurt. Notice of public meeting. There will be a meeting Wednesday evening to discuss the recent occupation of the sacred monkey head by the ghost pirate LeChuck. And the subsequent impact on the environment and the tourist trade. All Monkey Island cannibals are encouraged to attend. It's yellow. Printed on letterhead. To the ghost pirate LeChuck. We must ask you once again to curtail your nightly activities in the sacred monkey head area. Decent people are trying to sleep. Kindly keep the noise level down. The Monkey Island Cannibals. P.S. We saw you taking that woman with the scarf down there. here. Hey! Nice spyglass! Looks just like... Say... Where is my spyglass? Oh, perfect. I'm gone five minutes and somebody comes in here and dumps gunpowder all over the floor. Naturally, I don't think you had anything to do with it. I'm sure it's just a coincidence that you came in here to prowl around right after some mysterious person dirtied up my nice clean floor. I saw a monkey leaving here. He must have done it. Be a jerk. Warning. Objects in spyglass may be farther away than they appear. Oh, there's a nifty lens in it. the Monkey Island Cannibals. 
I don't mind you worshipping in front of the sacred monkey idol, which doubles as my home and secret base of operations. But could you please refrain from leaving messy sacrifices on my porch? Also, please do not enter the monkey head. G.P. LeChuck Look at that fabulous ship out there! Did you come in that? You're braver than you look. Actually, it looks a lot like a ship I used to own. I got taken by a guy named Stan. Stan of Stan's used ships on <laughs> Melee Island? <laughs> Are you some kind of a castaway? What do I look like? The caretaker? <laughs> Listen to this guy. Am I some kind of castaway? <laughs> I thought this island was uninhabited. Well, you thought wrong. My name's Toothrot. Herman Toothrot. I live here. Well, not right here. In the fort on the volcano. Were you stranded? You think I stay here for my health? Oh, boy! Sure is hot here. To the Monkey Island Cannibals, please stop moving this. It is delicately balanced. Herman Toothrop. I never get tired of this view, even if I have been looking at it for 20 years now. Even if it is the only view on the island. Yes, it is a nice view. I'm Guybrush. I'm here to rescue someone. Well, here I am. Glad you came to rescue me. Though you might have been a bit earlier. The find on that overdue library book should be pretty big by now. Let's go! Um, that's not exactly what I meant. I sailed here in pursuit of the governor of Melee Island, who's been kidnapped by a ghost. Oh, fine. Don't rescue me. I like it here. The rain on my head, the wind at my back, the bugs on my plate. Um, well, perhaps I could take you back, too. But I've got to rescue the governor first. I think she's on that ghost ship underground. Oh, okay. What happened to your pants? What pants? You're the only one on the island? I'm the only civilized person on the island. There's a native tribe of hunter-gatherers. Well, head-hunter-gatherers, actually. But I don't talk to them. They are cannibals, but they're not dangerous. Unless you lend them something. You say you got a key from the locals? I lent my banana picker to them, and they never gave it back. As collateral, they gave me this enormous cotton swab. It opens the monkey head, see? Not like I ever need to go into the monkey head. But if they want it back, I've got to have my picker first. It's a matter of pride, you know. Why don't you just give me the key to the monkey head? No! I needed to get back my banana picker! How did you get stranded here? Well, 
I sailed here with a friend of mine 20 years ago. We hoped to discover the secret of Monkey Island, but my friend met with a horrifying and tragic accident, which claimed his life. And I couldn't sail a ship back by myself. I trained a bunch of chimps to crew the ship and sail it back to Melee Island. They were supposed to get help and come back for me. There's something must have happened. How come you didn't just go with the chimps? Weeks on a boat full of monkeys. Oh, joy! Excuse me, I've got some pressing business to attend to. Yes, me too. <laughs> Tree. It won't go further. I'll just put it here. like it hit the big banana tree on the beach. But the odds against that are incredible. Boy, it sure is hot here. I'll check out this note while I'm at it. <laughs> 